Hey, Celestial Kings and Queens, this is Mystic Storm here, and I have a very inspirational bonus reading for you all, but I wanted to come on here to let you all know this first. I did record this on 11-11, a very powerful, powerful day, and was super excited to upload this. And I found out that none of my pictures or videos on my phone was on my cloud. So I had to wait a couple of days for everything to actually upload, including this video that I'm about to share with you all. So I was very patient and I said it will get up here when it, when it needs to. It will be the perfect time for it. And it's just... A matter of Mercury retrograde and I would say everybody has bad thoughts about Mercury retrograde but it literally saved memories that I want to cherish forever so I am very thankful for Mer Mercury retrograde and yeah so further without further ado here is my 1111 bonus reading hope you all enjoy Hello, my celestial kings and queens. This is Mystic Storm here to clear a path to a new life with you. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification bell so you can get more content from me. If you are already a part of the celestial kingdom, hey, y'all, what's up? What's going on? So I wanted to come back to y'all. Um, we already have a weekly intuitive reading and a full moon in Taurus reading. So make sure you check those out. But I'm super excited because ah, I ordered a new deck for us. I ordered a new deck. I'm so excited. It's called the Wild Offering Oracle. And this, uh, this deck is by Tasha Silver. And the art is by Katie Daisy. So I am so excited for this, y'all. Like, I've been... Uh, investing in this channel so I am ready and ready to share with y'all these messages Ooh. and this is not this is beautiful and it's 11 11 11 11 turn up y'all turn up this is got a little message here but it's long so I'm not going to read that I'll read that personally my, for myself but i will put a link for this deck in the description bar i'll also start putting the other links if i can find links to the decks that i already have in the description box so mm, at the top of the deck here i'm i'm clearing it at the top of the deck it has abundance so i am going to uh shuffle well first i'm clearing it off clearing off the energy here i want to shuffle the deck to see what we get for 11 11. Ooh, it's nice the cards are really nice y'all this is the second time I uh, broke up the deck and it says, make it gods. Make it gods. Mm. It's a lot of releasing that we have to do for this full moon in Taurus, y'all. Release and make it gods. Release it to the universe. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I also, um, with this deck, I have bought a tripod with a little light ring. So I am excited, y'all. I need to uh, also post um, a picture of the ring or I'll just probably put it in a description bar. But y'all, so excited. And the crazy thing... I'll talk while I'm shuffling. The crazy thing is I have bought this on Saturday on Amazon and it was supposed to be same day. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get my uh, weekly 
intuitive readings and my uh Taurus full moon out with this new deck I'm so excited with my ring light and tripod and it didn't come it did not come wow <laughs> abundance here we go and then so it, it did not come y'all so I was like okay when is it gonna come so I, I still I didn't wait on it. I didn't wait on this deck. I did the weekly reading anyway. I did the full moon in Taurus reading anyway because I, you know I have to do it for my channel. I have to do it for the celestial kingdom, y'all. So I really feel like this came at the right time. Eleven, eleven. Wow. Woo! Patience. Patience. I don't think y'all can really see see um, with these cards because it's words and everything on here. But I'll read them uh, in a second. But yes, I, I had to have patience and know that it was coming. And it came on the gateway day. 11-11, y'all. And I'm just so happy and so just, you know, just so receiving to the universe. Like, I really feel like it was a test. Like, are you really serious about this channel? Are you going to, you know, do it anyway? Like, you bought this bought this stuff to invest in your channel, to invest in the Celestial Kingdom. And, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, let me, yes. So, let me get into this before I keep shuffling. So the first card we have for 1111, yes, is abundance. Divine beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive. I release my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle for abundance, for abundance. So yes, y'all, yes to abundance. This is what's coming to us. Like we, we have a plan we're planning out our lives. We're waiting on 2020. We're like, come on, 2020, let's get it. This is going to be my year, right? You know, we say that every year, but for real, 2020 is going to be the year. <laughs> so I'm just super excited just to be in receiving mode. And especially since this is, you know, we're approaching winter, the uh, darkest time of the year. So it's just, just to receive and step back and be in a hermit mode. That That's what I'm getting from this because we're, if we continue to plan and put in the work and receive the downloads, receive everything that the universe is giving to us, everything's going to work in our favor. So, uh, but hold on. With abundance, we have to have patience. Patience, y'all. Uh, and it says, if you've tried forever to shift a problem, there's probably something to learn from embracing it. May I let this be for now. Help me relax and trust every every need will be met. Often change, uh, often change soon follows. So we might be dealing with some situations uh, now, especially it's a prime time. You know, it's Mercury retrograde, right? The full moon is here. We have a lot of shifts going on, especially with this 1111 uh, energy here. But we have to be patient. I know we see the vision. We see it. We see it. We just can't go from zero to 100 real quick or to 1,000 real quick. So we just have to be patient and nurture our gifts, nurture our passions, nurture what we want to manifest in this life because it's not going to snap like that. You know, we want magic to work like that. I mean, sometimes it does because the universe is just like, oh, you are deserving of this right now. Let me just bless you with this. And yes, that is awesome. That is so awesome. But blessings come at the most opportune time. It's not when we want it. It is when it is time for us to receive it. So be open and be patient to receiving the blessings that are coming to you. This is beautiful, y'all. Y'all can tell I'm really excited about this deck. Okay. Really excited. So uh, now we have, again, make it God's. 
make it God's. So it says, release the idea of my. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job. Wait, hold on, hold on. I gotta start this over, y'all. Release the idea of my. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping the right actions to get shown, free me from the prison of my dear Lord. This is who. So caught, we get so caught up, right, on our plan, our vision on how everything should be mapped out. But if we just release that and just be open, just to be open to guidance, to be open to all the abundance that's here, is going to happen for us. So that is beautiful, y'all. And at the bottom of the deck here, it has mistakes. Mistakes. We're going to make mistakes along the way. You have to start on your project now. You have to start on your business plan now. You have to uh, start making healthy uh, decisions for yourself to live a, pros a prosperous life. You have to start now. There's going to be some slip ups. There's going to be some mistakes, but we can't give up on that. It says, allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. Let me always take care of the inner child so he or she feels loved no matter what. This is so beautiful, y'all. This is so beautiful. I am so excited for this deck. So excited for this deck. And lastly, money. I know y'all can't see this, but money. Yes, and look at the look at the cards itself, the design of the cards. Can y'all see? So pretty. That's what's coming into you, to us. Like once we just trust and keep putting in the work, like it's gonna be some mistakes along the way. Brush your shoulders off. Cause it's gonna it's I mean, you learn from mistakes. It's not any mistakes, it's learning experiences. That's what I was told. So just Take everything in life as a learning experience and it will come 10 times. You'll continue to grow and you'll continue to be prosperous and be abundant and be a powerful manifester, y'all. So I just wanted to come with that quick message to uh, relieve this new deck for y'all. And again, this is going to be uh, implemented in our readings now. So I'm excited about that. And hmm, I'm thinking, I, I do want to pull, I do want to pull from another deck. <laughs> Y'all thought I was done, but I'm not. <laughs> I want to pull from the Chakra Inside Oracle deck. I know I love this. Mm. Split in the deck choice is ultimately our choice to receive these blessings that are at our grasp, at our hands' reach. Oh, y'all, I'm so happy. Like, all today, I was, <laughs> I felt drained. I was just like, oh, but man, I am so happy to be home and to work. Choice, choice to be here with y'all, like to work on my passion project and to after you work on one passion project, you realize like, hey, if I can do this. If I can put my mind towards this, I can also dust off some things that I've been trying to do for years. So don't neglect. You might have multiple passion projects, y'all. So let, mm, let, goodness, y'all just jumping out today. Okay. Let spirit and let. Like all the possibilities move you. Don't just settle for one thing. 
have your hand in multiple, multiple ways so you can get income. Okay? Nice. So this came up for us at the bottom of the deck. Believe in the full moon in Taurus, we have honesty in reverse. So we have to be honest with ourselves. We have to be honest with other people. Again, we might make some mistakes along the way when we're trying to communicate with people. And, you know, you see, I got my blue on for throat chakra we talked about that in the full moon uh reading so make sure you take a you take a look at that so yes with honesty there's truth transparency serenity and communication strive to work on your communication um strive to be authentic being authentic and being honest with yourself and being honest with people and being authentic is what is going to bring in this abundance okay and with us having some blockages with being honest and being honest and authentic, we have possessions was always uh, also in reverse. Possessions is belongings, finances, treasures. So this is going on to we might be a afraid or might be holding on to money and really feel like we're not getting oh, that's funny money is at the bottom of the deck um we are probably feeling you know not secure in ourselves but it's right underneath patience we have to have patience and trust that all of our finances is going to be cleared up all of all of our belongings, all of our assets, it says finances, treasures, is coming to us. We have to be open to receive. We have to be in the frequency to receive all this abundance. You know, we just can't wake up and say, I want this. I need this now. You have to work towards being at that vibration just to start receiving just the overflow. Okay? And then also... We have guidance, guidance. And the full moon is right here at the bottom. And that's the tree of life here. And the key words are support, love, signs, and direction. So again, this is in reverse too. So we are feeling, I feel like this is clarifying everything that I just pulled from the wild offerings. Like, it's right underneath, make it God's. Like, we probably don't know which way to turn, which way we should we should go. We might have multiple things that we want to do and we don't know how to start them. But if we just release it to the universe, release it on this full moon in Taurus, give it to God, give it to the universe and let let it make its way for you. Let the universe, may God, you know, he, she, whatever pronoun you want to put towards it, the all, okay? The all, make it the all, make it, <laughs> what was that? Make it the all. <laughs> Let the all, there we go. Let the all make its way for you. Let it guide you. Let your spirit guides guide you, your angels, this, everything, any spiritual realm term you want to put towards it, just work on being open to receive the guidance that you need to move forward. And it's crazy what what it y'all, y'all. This is inner child. Inner child. And it says playfulness, lightheartedness, innocence, and wonder. And this is just, it has butterflies all around in the rainbow. And she's just so carefree in this picture. And it's, I feel like this is saying your passion projects, you've known what you wanted to do since you were little. You've known what you wanted to do. And don't neglect that passion that you have inside of you. And underneath, the inner child is right underneath 
mistakes. Mistakes. You know how many mistakes we made as children? But that was our growing pains. We had to grow and mature and learn. So we make mistakes as children, but we are soon forgiven because what? We don't know. We don't know. We have to learn. So if you're starting something new, don't be hard on yourself because what? You have to learn. You're going to make mistakes. So, and I'll read mistakes over again because it has inner child in in the uh in the phrase. So allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. Let me always take care of the inner child. So he or she feels loved no matter what. Nurture yourselves. Nurture yourselves. Nurture the inner child inside of you. Y'all, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful message for this 11-11. Okay. So, I'll, I'm going to leave it here because we know what we need to do. You know, we got the offering message, which was lighthearted. And then we got into the chakras like, oh, hold up. This is what we need to clear up in order to get this. So, to recap. In order to live an abundant life, we need to be honest with ourselves and honest with people around us. Be patient. Be patient because all your worries about finances and money and your belongings is going to clear up. You have to, what does it say? May I let this be for now. Just let it be. Release and let it be. Help me relax and trust every need will be met. All your needs financially is about to be met, okay? Because often change soon follow. It soon come, you know? So don't worry about it. Don't worry about finances. Walk in faith. Walk in faith. Make it God's. Make it God's. Make it God's and trust your guidance system that you have in place. Really focus on trying to talk to your ancestors, trying to reach them in dreams through meditation, through journaling. Um, there's multiple ways you can do that. So this is beautiful, y'all. And just know along the way, we all are going to make some mistakes. We all are going to trip up. But keep it lighthearted, just like you are as a child. At first, you don't su succeed. Dust yourself off and try it again. That's what I got, y'all, from Aaliyah. May she rest in peace. Detroit, Detroit. Yes. And if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Dust yourself off and try again. Try again. And Yes. So, and the the main, y'all sorry, I, you know I break out in some. The, the main focus is abundance life because we're going to get the money. It's in the bag. We have to be patient. So, I, let, me, let me, I'm just too excited. I'm too lit, y'all. So, I hope y'all take this message. And y'all receive this message. If y'all want to book a personal reading uh, with me, make sure you contact me at mysticstorm333 at gmail.com. And I hope y'all have a beautiful rest of the week, a beautiful 1111, and a beautiful, glorious full moon in Taurus. I'm ready to receive this, this uh, energy for Taurus because Taurus is literally all about the shmoney. Okay? Okay. So, <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. So, leave a comment below. Make sure you let me know, like, how everything is. How are you feeling during the Mercury retrograde and all that stuff. And I will see y'all in the next one, okay? This is Mystic Storm here. We clearing paths to new lives. And it's going to be abundant. 
like nothing else but abundant okay so i love y'all i'll see y'all in the next one